Mexico is a country blessed by the exceptional biological diversity of its territory, something which is evident in the richness of its ecosystems, from the most biodiverse deserts of the planet to the impressive cloud forests, from the exuberance of its tropical forests to its phenomenal reefs and coastal mangroves. In these many habitats, countless species of plants, animals, fungi, and other organisms coexist, many of them endemic to Mexico. However, who can assess how valuable and extensive is our natural capital? How extensive are the benefits that we obtain from this unique wealth, and what are our responsibilities in terms of its conservation? To answer these and many other questions, the National Commission for the Knowledge and Use of Biodiversity, CONABIO, was created 20 years ago by presidential decree. The commission is a bridge between the scientific community and the governmental sector. This relationship enables the collection, analysis, and distribution of information needed for taking appropriate decisions in terms of the management, conservation, restoration, and sustainable use of our natural resources. For the last two decades, Conabio has integrated the National Biodiversity Information System, SNIB, which forms the backbone of its activities and is one of the largest stores of national information in the world. This system compiles data regarding the extraordinary variety of species that live in Mexico. One of the most important functions of Conabio is to support applied research activities directed toward the resolution of specific problems. Around half of its annual budget is assigned to funding studies in universities and other institutions dedicated to scientific research to obtain relevant information on the use of biodiversity. Among the ecosystems of Mexico, the mangroves have many important functions. Distributed throughout the 17 coastal states of the country, they are the nurseries of the seas since they provide food, refuge, and habitat for the reproduction of numerous marine species. Among these, the great majority are fish of commercial importance. They also function as barriers against hurricanes, control flooding, and protect the coasts. Following the extensive national inventory of mangroves conducted by Conabio, an attractive 3D visualization of these ecosystems was produced in collaboration with Google Earth. Their history and distribution are currently under evaluation, as well as the threats and pressures that have caused their destruction. This knowledge helps us to protect them. The Global Maze Project, which involves Conabio, in coordination with other governmental, academic, and civil organizations, has provided new information regarding the origin and genetic diversity of maize, documenting close to 60 varieties, and has computerized the native maize collections and their ancestor, the Teosintle. In the past, the Mesoamerican cultures developed in the southeast of Mexico, one of the regions of greatest biological diversity on the planet. This richness, which even 100 years ago was manifested in a huge area of continuous tropical ecosystems, is now highly deteriorated, fragmented, and threatened. To halt and reverse this process of deterioration, the Mesoamerican Biological Corridor Program was created, comprising Mexico and the Central American countries. In this region, diverse economic alternatives are applied so that the local communities conserve the ecosystems, restore the vegetation cover, and reverse the rates of deforestation and acquire a better quality of life. The biological corridors are bridges that allow the flow of species between ecosystems that have become fragmented. After 10 years of operation, the results of their recovery are beginning to be seen in a tangible way.
In 1999, Conabio established a system for the detection of forest fires in real time using satellite information. At present, the early warning system for wildfires in Mexico and Central America produces automatic alerts regarding the location of fires in almost real time. Another phenomenon that seriously affects our native flora and fauna, our health and economy, is that of invasive species from other regions of the world, such as the lionfish and cactus moth. To address this problem, the Invasive Species Information Subsystem was created in 2007. The system compiles data and information concerning deliberately or accidentally introduced species, evaluates their potential distribution and dispersion, and establishes the actions required for their control or eradication. Cornabio produces information for the monitoring of illegal trafficking of species at airports, ports, and borders. Recently, the Commission published the book Natural Heritage of Mexico, 100 Success Stories, concerning the conservation and sustainable management of species and ecosystems in our country. Among the important success stories are the prevention of extinction in the Mexican wolf, the protection of the scarlet macaw, the pronghorn, the horned guan, the black bear, the resplendent quetzal, the whale shark, and the condor among other species. This clearly demonstrates that it is possible to achieve successful conservation projects and sustainable management of natural resources. The collection Natural Capital of Mexico, coordinated by the Commission, and benefiting from the participation of more than 700 experts from more than 200 institutions is an ambitious effort that compiles the most recent and reliable knowledge that exists worldwide regarding the biological megadiversity of Mexico. To promote a culture of nature and in order that it be considered a public asset, Conabio organizes conferences and exhibitions in the underground stations of the Metro the zoos and museums. It has developed an internet portal entitled Mexican Biodiversity with hundreds of resources for students, teachers, and researchers. This page also features Mexico Wonderland, a portal for children. The commission provides information through technical publications as well as for the general public. The Conabio-based magazine Biodiversitas recently published its 100th edition. Biodiversity is present in all aspects of our daily life, in the variety of our food, our medicines, in our handcrafts. It reflects the enormous richness of our country. We only care for something when we know it well enough, and at Conabio we are committed to the promotion of knowledge regarding our natural capital, its sustainable management, and its conservation. This, our natural capital, must be fully appreciated for the benefit of all Mexicans, of the present and future generations. <laughs>